So we have the set of design plans and we're looking at the vertical components. For this one, we're asked to develop the parabolic equation that describes the curve at station 330 and determine the high point station and elevation. We're also given a second problem to answer, which is assuming that because of changes required in the vertical clearance for the bridge at this same vertical curve, station 330, the elevation of the curve at station 329 plus 50 needs to be raised by exactly one foot. What length of curve would provide for this additional clearance? And will that be an acceptable design modification? So here's our vertical curve. It has a PI at station 330. The elevation of the PI is 906.9 feet. The length of the vertical curve is 1000 feet. It has a K or rate of vertical curvature of 262 and the design speed is 70 miles per hour. So our grade G1 is 1.9974% and our G2 grade for the departing tangent is negative 1.8126%. And so just by seeing the specificity of these grades, we can probably guess that in this design, the clearance of the bridge factored importantly into the design of the roadway. So to make sure that clearance was provided, uh, specific slopes, specific grades were used to make sure that that would fit. We are told we were given, again, as we saw in the design plans, the length of the curve is 1,000 feet or 10 stations. The PVI station was at 330. The elevation at that point was 906.9 feet. And we can also calculate the PVC elevation, which we know is important for determining the parabolic equation for this specific curve. And that's the PVI elevation plus half the length times minus G1, which was 906.9 feet plus 1,000 divided by 2 times the grade negative 1.9974%, which gives us a PVC elevation of 896.9 feet. Our generic parabolic equation is y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. We're going to customize that for this particular curve. So y equals negative 1.8126 minus 1.9974 divided by 2 times 10 times x squared plus 1.9974 times x plus 896.9 9. gives us a parabolic equation when we simplify this of negative 0.1905 x squared plus 1.9974 x plus 896.9. We can now find the location of the high point as the distance from the PVC. x equals negative g1 times l divided by g2 minus g1 is going to give us an x of 5.2425 stations or 524.25 feet. The station of this high point is the PVC elevation plus X. So 325, station 325 plus 524.25 feet gives us a station of the high point of 330 plus 24.25. So it's is really close to the PVI, just on the other side of the PVI from the PVC. The elevation of the high point can also be found by using our parabolic equation. We're going to plug in the x value 5.2425. So y equals negative 0 0.1905 times 5.2425 squared plus 1.9974 times 5.2425 plus 896.9 gives us an elevation of the high point of 902.13 feet. So solving, summarizing what we solve for for this vertical curve, we've got our equation that tells us and describes the elevation y for any point x between the PVC and the PVT. We can't use this equation for anything that extends beyond those points. We can also see this just on the design plans where we see the high point. The station occurs at 330 plus 
24.25. We can't read that specificity on the design plan, but we can then go back and see that's where it occurs. And then the elevation of 902.13 feet. So our next portion here is to assume that because of changes in that required vertical clearance of that bridge that's at this curve, the elevation of the curve at station 329 plus 50 needs to be raised by exactly one foot. And we're also asked what length of curve would provide for this additional clearance and will that be an acceptable design modification? So we're going to use this information in this process for fitting a curve through a fixed point. There are other ways to do this. You can also do it with kind of brute force with setting up all your equations and trial and error to determine what the curve length is. But I'm going to solve with this process. And if you use another process, you can check it with this solution. So we have these equations. We need to know the, dif the distance D in stations between our PVI and these points E, F, and G. We're going to solve for S to then solve for the length of curve that's recommended to fit through this point. We're going to start with finding the elevation of the curve at station 329 plus 50. The distance from the PVC at that point is 4.5 stations, so that's our x value is 4.5. We're going to plug that into our parabolic equation to find the elevation of our existing curve at station 329 plus 50 of 902.03. So the elevation for our point E is that elevation plus one foot. That's what we were told in our problem statement. So we're going to take our existing curve of 902.03 feet, add one foot to it. So we're going to have a point that we're trying to fit the curve through of 903.03. So that's point E. We need to find the elevation of point F. So that's going to be 906.9 .9 plus 50 feet. We're 50 feet away from our PVI at a grade of 1.9974%. So the elevation of point F is 905.9 feet. The elevation of point G, we're going to start at our PVI, same as we did with point, G, point F. It's 50 feet away, similarly. And now the grade, though, is our other grade of 1.8126%. We're going to get an elevation of 907.81 feet. Now we're going to be able to solve for S, which uses the elevation of E, F, and G. We're going to plug those in. We're taking the square root of those differences. So it's the square root of 903.03 minus 907.81 divided by 903.03 minus 905.9. Taking the square root of that gives us an S value of 1.28975. We need to carry that out some decimal places so we make sure we calculate the correct L value. This S is just an intermediate value. It doesn't really mean much in terms of the design, but we're going to use this for calculating the L. So we're going to find 2 times the distance from the PVI, which is 50 feet, times our S plus 1 divided by S minus one. That's gonna give us a length of 790 feet. And so to raise that point by one foot in elevation, we're gonna change from our given length of curve to a length of 790 feet. That's gonna be the recommended value. So instead of a thousand feet, we need 790 feet to raise that point on the curve by one foot. So it's a much shorter curve. Uh, over around 210 feet shorter to be able to raise that point. So the question also then is, is this acceptable? Is this a reasonable design modification? Well, we can check with our, our L equals K times A equation. Our K rate of vertical curvature is 262. Our algebraic difference in grades, A, is 3.81. We're just taking the difference between G1 and G2. And that gives a length of just at 1,000 feet, 998.22 feet. So the original design took this into consideration. They chose a length that was slightly larger than this, this minimum length that is given. So we cannot use 790 feet with the other parameters of this curve. So in order to, to raise this curve 
we're going to have to do something else other than just making this a shorter curve. The whole curve is going to need to be re re redesigned. The alignment, the entrance and exit grades are going to need to be redesigned in order to meet the required minimum uh, length that's going to be recommended. So more changes are going to be needed. It is going to have a cascading effect on other curves throughout that vertical alignment, unfortunately. But that's what's going to need to be done if you did need to raise this point by one foot. This was a hypothetical example of what it would look like, what it would take uh, to do this. So in order to make that shorter, we would need now to do more work and it's going to affect other parts of the design.